day of jam session and we saved our two best rookies for last. Right now I have Michael Carter Williams with me who plays for the Philadelphia 76ers and I'm sure he will agree he is definitely on the leaderboard to be rookie of the year. What do you think about that? Um, <laughs> I've heard it a few times so I'm happy about it. <laughs> yes, I think it's going to be between you Victor and of course Trey Burke is making a little run. You agree? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely agree. They're both playing great ball. Um, you know they're both doing well this year, so they definitely should be in the conversation. Definitely. Do you feel like this this draft class they always said was a little weak? Other than you three, were there any other surprises? Is there anybody else who's playing well that surprised you? Um, yeah, uh, Kelly's playing well. Um, Giannis is playing well. You know I think. Um, Plummy's on a team where there's a lot of veterans, so you know he's really learning. I think he's going to be really good. Uh, so, uh, and uh, Tim's playing well too. So you know, a lot, of, a lot of players are playing well from our class, and I'm really happy about it. So you know, just to prove people wrong that you know we're a solid draft class. Okay, last night was the skills challenge, and y'all did not win. I think you got robbed. The, the team that beat you was Trey Burke, and he was here, and he was like, our competition is definitely going to be Mike and Victor. And you guys got edged out by how many seconds? Uh, 0.1 seconds. So, I mean, it was a tough call. I wish we could have gone to the TVs to review it. But, <laughs> um, you know, they got the win. And, uh, you know, me and Victor, we want a rematch next year. So hopefully we get that. So my question to you is, is the hardest part by looking at it, is the hardest part shooting it in the hoop, the little pass, or is the hardest part the shot at the top of the kick? Um, actually, the, probably the hardest part is getting over being nervous. Okay. Um, you know, it's tough to go through the, um, the obstacle course thing when you're nervous. Um, and it was surprisingly, you know, we all are, Victor and I and Trey were talking about, you know, how nervous we were going. So, um, probably the hardest thing is knocking down the shot, you know, once okay. you have the nerves. Now, what do you think about the new format of that dunk contest last night? What you think? I thought it was creative. Um, if I could recommend something, I'd probably yeah, say, you know, you should have a, be able to have like an exit dunk. You know, if you get eliminated, then you can have one free dunk just to show, you know, what you were going, going to do. I think that would make it a lot more interesting. You know, I think the crowd would like that more. But, um, you know, I love the creativity. It was, uh, it was a great dunk contest, in my opinion. Do you feel like that dunk that John, everybody on Twitter was saying how John Wall revitalized the dunk contest? Like it was one of the best dunks they've seen in a while. Do you agree? Uh, I definitely do agree. What John did was, you know, amazing last night. He, uh, I've never seen that dunk done before. So he definitely brought some creativity out and, um, you know, hopefully livened up the, the dunk contest for next year. Um, you're going to have to get your own signature dance like the Nene. What you think about that? <laughs> I know. The Nene is creative. I like it, um, but you know, hopefully I can come up with something. Okay. Speaking of dancing, if you could make a soundtrack of your life right now, what songs and who do you think, who would you put on it? Um, you know, I would put, you know, a little bit of Meek in there. You know, I'm in Philly, he's in Philly, so uh, he's from Philly, so definitely there. Um, you know, Drake is, uh, he's doing really well this year and you know, I'm doing all right myself this yeah. year, so uh, probably some Drake. and. Uh, probably those two right now, yeah. Okay. Now, our last question, I feel like this has been a whirlwind season for you. You got to Philly, they're rebuilding. Just, you know, tell me how you like it and, and how your, your final thoughts on your season and how it's going. Uh, I love Philly. It's great. Uh, you know, I'm close enough to home where people can come watch me. Um, you know, it's a great city. Uh, the fans is great. They're tough, but, you know, they're always there to support. And, um, you know, I think this year is a big learning experience for me. So, um, you know, I'm just learning you know, each and every day and uh, trying to get better. And actually, you know what? That's not going to be our last question. The thing that you said the most that we loved from Panini is your mom and your dad decided to put all of your money in a trust. So the only money you're allowed to spend is what money? It's my Panini money. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you, Michael Carter Williams. He's going to now sign for the fans. I got serious. She's like looking at me with the mom on the
planning for All-Star Weekend. It's been a great weekend. I saved my most favorite, my best for last. I got my Rookie of the Year candidate right here. V05. V05, Victor Olimbitho. Have you had a great weekend? Yeah, I had a feathery weekend. It's been great. Uh, been having fun, been here since Thursday, and I've been on the go ever since then, so it's been a great time. I feel like last night, you and Michael Carter-Williams, who was just here, y'all got robbed. How you, what you thinking about that? I mean, y'all seen the pictures, y'all seen the tape. They added .3 seconds on our time. But it's okay, you know, because me and Mike, we coming back next year, we gonna win it, we gonna win it. I can't say again. Well, actually, I can say again. We gonna win it again. So, the first question, what is the hardest shot? Is it to pass it to the circle hoop or make the shot at the top of the key? I think the top, the shot at the top of the key is, is the, the hardest because you don't want to rush it. You got to kind of stay there and make sure you make the shot so you can continue to keep going on. Now, I mentioned earlier that you are definitely a Rookie of the Year candidate. I think it's between you, Mike, who was here earlier, and Trey Burke. Would you happen to agree? I agree. I think those are two, I think we're, we're pretty good opportunity. We all have pretty good opportunities of winning. So. Now, other than those three, is there any other player this year that surprised you? Because it was a, a weak draft class by standards. They said it was a weak draft class. So is there anybody else who you think play, is playing real well? Um, I do. I think uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is playing really well, uh, playing good basketball. Uh, Giannis from uh, Milwaukee is playing good basketball. Kelly Olenek from the Celtics is playing good. So I think we, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of us out there um, who are playing pretty well, you know. Um, so we'll see how it goes, man. It's going to be an interesting race towards the end of the season. Now, was you on the winning team or the losing team or the rookie? Oh, the rookie sophomore game? Yes. I was on the losing team. Oh, so you didn't get that big cash. You got that little cash. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's talk about these shoes on your feet. Yes. Oh, we taking them all. Look at those socks, though. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I could cut this up and make a nice card out of this. What you thinking? I'm thinking that's the only pair of shoes I got, so I don't know about that. We're gonna have to we're, we're gonna have to talk about that one later. No, but actually, what is this called and whose shoe is this? Give me some details on this. These are the Jordan 28s. Uh, these are the Noyas. These are my the person they personalize these for me for the Skills Challenge game. Uh, they're called the. I guess the New Orleans NOLA, NOLA the NOLA 28. So uh, they're pretty feathery if you look at them. You know, they got the Mardi Gras colors, yes, purple, green, yellow. Um, you know, and it's pretty cool. So I'm glad I got to wear them. Okay. Have you been going out? Have you been having some fun in New Orleans? Yeah, I have. I ate at some good restaurants. Um, I'm going to go eat at a good one after this. Um, I've been, uh, been out to some different places and uh, going to some different venues and stuff like that, and uh, it's been a great time. You know, um, I went to a Jordan, the Jordan Brand dinner and party. Okay. That was fun, and uh, going to the GQ party was fun as well. So, um, I just been having a good time this weekend, and it's all a blessing just to be here. And hopefully, I can make it a consistent thing. And you know, I gotta shout my girl out, your twin. She ain't here right now, but has she had a good time? Yeah, I think for the most part she has. I mean, she's. She's, I think she's proud of me, I don't know. No, you know she's <laughs> proud of you. It's like, nah, she's proud of me, but, um, you know, it's always good having your family here uh, to experience this moment with you, so I'm blessed and thankful that they're here. Well, that's our last interview for this 2014 All-Star. We're going to sign off. Have a good one.
Tyreek Hero, Steph Evans. This card's called the Mother Love, right there. Look at that.